I, I have a couple of quick tips for you today about throwing things away. I know it's not good to waste food, but in this particular case, you might agree with me. So, I don't know how many of you guys have candy in spades. I have all this stuff left over from Valentine's Day. Look at this, I've got something from Halloween. I think I have candy from Easter. <laughs> I have so much crap in my household from my three kids and you know just from shopping for myself. So one thing that I like to do is twofold. A couple nights ago I was really craving chocolate and I really love peanut butter so <laughs> I'm gonna either send all my candy to my friend Ned who just said send it all to me um, or what I do is I go but after dinner right after I finish eating I brush my teeth so that I can't eat something afterwards um, I mean I could technically eat something and then just brush my teeth again but for some reason psychologically it prevents me from eating junk food after dinner uh, the other thing that I do is I just throw it away <laughs> I know for example like I'm never gonna eat this heart-shaped lollipop I'm never gonna eat these Skittles but this Heath Bar Crunch calls to me all day long. And all I wanna do is just raid my junk drawer and eat all of this crap. So today, throw away Thursday, we are throwing away the candy that I do not wanna eat because if I don't have it or give it away, um, you can give it away to Ned or whoever else you wanna give it away to, but get it out of your sight, get it out of your house. I mean, we're on lockdown, so what are you gonna do? Go to the store, wait in line for 45 minutes and go buy another Heath bar? No, we're not gonna do that. So get it out of your house, throw it away, um, or brush your teeth. <laughs> okay, second tip of the day. Sometimes I, well, mostly now, I overbuy. Um, this has been going on for years. I love to buy groceries in bulk amounts. I've got a lot of people in my household, a lot of mouths to feed, but back in the day, when I was a single person or a married person with no kids, I would still do the same thing. I'd go out and I'd buy bulk stuff. And what the hell do I do with it? Most of it would end up in the garbage anyway. So, and I don't wanna throw away fresh fruits and vegetables. So instead, what do I wanna do? Here's a couple of quick tips that you can do, especially with fruits and vegetables. So with berries, one thing I've been doing lately because raspberries seem to go bad so quickly, but everybody in my household loves to eat them. So how do I keep the good raspberries good so that the kids can put them on their fingers and suck them off one at a time? And then how do I um, take the ones that are starting to get a little mushy that the kids definitely don't wanna eat and repurpose them? So there's two things you can do with berries. A, you can freeze them. So when they're starting to get a little mushy, just rinse them off, make sure they're dry, throw them in a Ziploc, put them in the freezer and you can use them in smoothies. You can take them out and put them in parfaits. The other thing you can do is I make these um, mason jar parfaits all the time. Gluten-free granola. Uh, I usually use coconut, um, what do you call it? Yogurt. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, coconut yogurt. I usually drizzle a little bit of honey and then I put fresh fruit, but it doesn't matter. You're gonna mush it up anyway in the parfait, so you may as well just put it in there. You can also put it in oatmeal. Um, you can put it directly into a smoothie. You don't even have to freeze it first. So there's a lot of things that you can do to make sure that you use a whole carton of berries like this. Okay, second. So I bought these a couple of days ago while I had them delivered to my house. And I can already tell, you know, asparagus starts to get a little wobbly. So what you can do with asparagus is the same as you can do with berries. So you can either cut them and freeze them and they'll freeze nicely. And then you can use them in a stir fry or something at a later date. Um, you can also put, you know, you chop them up really fine, saute them and put them in like an orzo or some, some sort of pasta or rice dish and then either freeze that or eat that over the next couple of days. Um, uh, or you can, just, you can just cook it up when it's starting to get a little wobbly. You know, it doesn't have to be super crisp. Um, you can also blanch them. 
which is just boiling them real quick and then throwing them into um, an ice bath, which will help kind of like reconstitute them and, and crisp them up a little bit more. Um, but asparagus, broccoli, zucchini, squash, I'm trying to think of what else. You know, like spinach and, and those leafier greens, you really do want to eat or saute or freeze before they really start to go bad or else you run the risk of, of really like getting something nasty, like giving yourself listeria or something like that. So anyway, use your veggies. You don't have to throw them out. You know, even the ends, for example, you can use those in a soup or a stew. I made a delicious lamb stew last night. I could have chopped up the ends of these asparagus and thrown them in kind of at the end and it would have added a nice crunch and flavor. So use your veggies and your fruit wisely. Throw out or get rid of anything that you don't want to eat, like the candy, the Snickers bars, the Heath bars that call to me. The Reese's peanut butter cups, oh my god, those are the worst because they're so good. And do your best to just make these small hinge changes in your, in your daily life and forgive yourself if you can't do it. I love you. I hope you're staying safe and sane. I will see you again soon. Have a beautiful day.